Studio Pro is our all-in-one video solution for creating expressive video content for yourself or your business. We've included everything you might need to tell the story you want to, so let's run through exactly how it all works. First, you'll see that your masterpiece needs a name. Fill that in by clicking the box in the top left corner. This ensures you can easily find your video later, whether you're exporting or editing it further. Once it has a name, Studio Pro is your blank canvas to work with. I'll start with the sidebar on the left. It's here that you can import an existing PowerPoint file to work from and select each individual slide that you're working on. You'll also be able to add more slides with this button, like so. This middle section is your video. As you add more things, they'll appear here and you can adjust them to your liking. There's a quick delete all option here with clear canvases if you're unhappy with your video. There's a confirmation screen to avoid any misclicks. To the right are our size options. You can adjust the aspect ratio and dimensions of your video here. We currently have four options that are widely used on different social media, but if you would like to see even more, please request them. Underneath is the script section which is vital for your video creation. In Pro, you can type or paste your script in here. There's a 4,000 character limit. Upload a recording or record yourself directly. If you're using a script, you'll need a voice, and we have hundreds to choose from in over a hundred languages. We've got voices from all the top providers, and you'll be able to sample each one by tapping the play icon. With a voice selected and text added, you can preview your voiceover by tapping the listen button for a small amount of credits. And finally, for this voice section, you can adjust the time of individual slides here. There's a maximum of four minutes per slide. Now on the top right, you can see how many credits you have remaining. These are based on what membership you currently have. And each minute of video you make in Studio Pro costs 10 credits. You can adjust the output format of your video here to be either MP4 or WebM, and you can also save your video as either a draft or a template. Both are very useful, as you can come back to edit them later, or if you're making a series, you can make new videos from a template you've created. The top right button sends your video to our queue to be rendered, so click this when you're ready to export. Now the right side is where all of your creativity will be expressed. This is the section that allows you to really shape your video. At the top of the sidebar is an icon just for developers. This lets you view API documentation or request a key. But everything else underneath is just for video creation. By default, you'll be on our actor menu. This is where you give your script and your voice an AI face to deliver your message throughout your video. We've got hundreds to choose from, or you can make your own. Either way, once selected, they will appear on the canvas on the left. You'll now see options for resizing your avatar, both in the canvas and just above in this menu. You can crop the avatar, remove the background, adjust the image that they're shown in, and change the colors of the stroke and the background. You can also see the layer options here. These will be useful when you start adding more parts to your video. They allow you to bring your avatar to the top, so it's always seen at the front. Next in the menu is our backgrounds. Click on any, and they'll be added right to your canvas. We have a lot of options for customization here, starting with a completely transparent background. You can add solid color, search through our provided stock images, upload a custom image that fits our specifications, or even upload a video in MP4 format. If you've made a mistake, we also have a handy reset option that will set the background back to normal for you to start again. Next up is our text menu. Here you can add titles, subheading, paragraphs, whatever you need for your video. Once selected, you can move them around and position them where you like, and adjust the font, size, and color from this menu on the right. There's also layer options here in case you would like your text appearing in front of your avatar. You can also copy and paste text, if you need to have it appear multiple times. Underneath text, we have our image options. Similarly to the background menu, you can add and resize any stock image here or upload your own to add to your video. This can be company logos, branding, anything you like. You can also access the layers and copy-paste menu from here. Next is our video section where you can add stock videos or your own custom videos. 
Currently, video previews aren't supported, but if you click on the link within the stock video options, you can view them on a separate tab in your browser. You can also adjust the videos here, choosing how they loop and whether audio plays or not. We also have a section for adding music to your videos. Here we have great preset songs to give your videos that extra lift, and you can search for whatever you need. You can adjust whether that song plays for the whole video or just for one slide. And you also have the option to upload your own tracks. Next, essential for any budding video editors, is our transition menu. Once it's toggled on, you'll see in the left sidebar that the transitions are now active. You can change the transition here, and it will update on the left. These are the way that your video will move between slides when it's exported, and they can add a bit of extra flair that really spices up your video content. Here is our Elements menu. This is where you can add lots of different icons to your video. We have 2D and 3D illustrations, icons, stickers, and shapes. You can use the search menu to find what you like. Then once selected, you can adjust them in your video. For shapes, you can customize them even more with colors and stroke sizes. Last, we have the layers menu. This is your video and how your current slide is organized. Here, like with the handy toolbar you saw in the other menus, you can adjust which layers appear on top of each other. So you can make sure your videos looks exactly the way you want it to. There's so much customization available within Studio Pro. That's everything in Studio Pro. If you find any issues, we have a handy bug reporting button down here and you can talk to our customer support team with this chat menu here. We hope that deep dive into Studio helped answer any questions you have. And if you have any more, please let us know in the comments or by contacting our team.